what's going to happen. Okay. So same exact thing. Now what we want to do is, again, we just want to remember our rules of exponents. Our rules of exponents have a, um, a number with an exponent divided by the same base of that number. We're going to take our exponents, and as long as they both have exponents, we're going to subtract the exponents. Okay. okay? And obviously, obviously, that same base, they're at least always going to have the exponent um, being up to 1. So we're always going to be subtracting exponents. The next thing, just to remind you, is if I have a number raised to a negative exponent, we can put that as 1 over x to the m. Mm -hmm. And the same thing is, if I have it as a denominator that's negative, I can put it up as a numerator positive. Okay. okay? So now we're just going to divide. Now, obviously, it's not divided into 3, yeah. right? But what we can do is we can reduce this. So 6 thirds can be reduced down to? 2 or 1, one half. Yep, yeah, 1 half. Okay, so I'm going to reduce that down to 1 half, and then I'm going to follow my rules of exponents. This is going to be a to the 4th over a squared. So I'm going to say a to the 4 minus 2, b to the 3 minus 5, and c to the, if there's no exponent showing there, we know that it's c multiplied by itself one time, right? c to the 1 minus 3. So now I just have 1 half times a to the 4 minus 2 is a squared, b to the... Negative second. Negative second, and then c to the negative second. Now, again, since these are two negatives, I have to be able to put them as the denominator. Mm -hmm. Notice I have a numerator and a denominator. So my 2 is going to join them now with the, at the denominator, and my a is going to stay up top as the numerator. So my final answer is squared all over um, 2 times b squared c squared. Okay? Uh, yep, yeah, makes sense.